Welcome to a Traceable Products instructional video for the Traceable Excursion Track Thermometer. In this video, we will learn how to set the day and time. To ensure we provide the best learning experience, this video will be divided into three small lessons. We'll start with preparing your device to set the day and time. Next, we'll learn about the Select and Advance button. And then we'll use the Select and Advance buttons to set the day and time. Additionally, we also recommend that you have your device with you so you can follow along. With that in mind, let's get started on setting the day and time. Preparing your device to set the day and time. To complete this lesson, we're going to use the display switch located at the center here, and then the display event switch located towards the right over here. Let's start with the display switch. Using your finger, slide the display switch down until it aligns with the words date slash time as shown here. Once you align it with date slash time, your display will change. The display will now show the year on the top row, the date in the center row, and the time at the bottom row. That's all for the display switch. Now let's move on to the event display button. Pressing the event display button will change the format in which the date in the center row will appear. Currently, Mine is set to show the month first and then the day. We can tell that it's in this order because of the M slash D located towards the right of the middle row. If we press the event display button, the order will change to day first and then the month. You can tell that it's this way because the M slash D has changed the D slash M on the right. Press the event display button until it's in the format you prefer. In this case, I'm going to set mine to M slash D, month first and then the day. Once you have your preferred date format, we're all done with the event display button and we can move on to the next lesson. Learning about the select and advance button. In this lesson, we'll learn about the Select and Advance button. The Select and Advance buttons are located underneath the slider door of your device. Simply slide the slider down as shown here, and you'll find the Select and Advance buttons towards the right. Using these two buttons, we'll be able to set our date and time. Let's learn about each button individually first before we use them together. First, the select button. Pressing the select button allows you to select the fields you like to edit the values of on your screen. Each press of the select button chooses a different field on your screen. Starting from the top and working its way down from left to right, just as if you were reading a book. To see this visually, let's practice using the select button now. Grab your device and let's do this together. Start by pressing the select button on your device. As you can see, the year begins to flash on the top row. This indicates that the year is currently selected. Press select again, and the flashing area will move to the first field on the middle row. Press select again, and the flashing will move to the next field on the same row. Press select again, and the flashing is now on the hours field located on the bottom row. Press select again, and the flashing is now on the minutes field. Press select again, 
and now the flashing will be in the time format area. Then, pressing select one last time will have no field selected. As you can see by this lesson, the select button allows you to select fields on your screen. Now, let's learn what the advance button does. The advance button allows you to modify the year, date, and time on your screen. But it will only change the value of a field that has been selected by the select button. Remember, the area that's flashing is what's currently selected. Since no fields are currently flashing, pressing the advance button does nothing as nothing is selected. But if we press the select button first to select the year, pressing the advance button now will change this value as it's currently selected. This same action will occur if we press the advance button on any other selected field. Now that we know what each button does, let's use them together to set the date and time. Use the select and advance buttons to set the day and time. For this lesson, I'm going to insert today's time on my device. The date today is April 12, 2016, and the time will be 2.15 p.m. Be sure to insert your date as we go through each row. Let's get started. First, we'll start by pressing the select button to select the year. Now that I'm here, I'll press the advance button several times until I reach the year 2016. To reach my goal faster, I can hold the advance button down to quickly and easily increase the year. Once you have the correct year, Press the select button to move on to the next field. Now we're on month. I'll press the advance button several times until I reach the number four for April. Once I reach four, I'll press the select button to move on to the day field. Here, I need the number 12. I'll press the advance button until I reach 12. Once it's at 12, we press the select button to move on to the last row. Now we're on the hour field. I'll press the advance button until 2 is shown here and PM is shown here. Once your hour is set, press select to move on to the minutes field. Since I want 15 here, I'll press the advance button until I reach 15. Once you're at 15 minutes, press select to move on to the date format. If we press advance, the time format will change to a 24 hour military time format. Press the advance button until you have the format you prefer. Once you have the format you prefer, press select and this will exit time setting mode.
Well done. You now have the day and time set on your device. Be sure to set the display switch in the center of your device back to min max. This way you can always see your current temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature on your display. If you need further assistance or have any questions, contact us directly.